September 9th, 11.05. I'm a little hungry, but we're leaving at 1 something and won't be home until probably 6, 7 o'clock. Um, Dino has an appointment that's over an hour and a half away from us, and the appointment is normally runs really long. So, yeah, I need to eat, or I'm going to starve to death. And I don't want to just eat like some eggs and stuff because I need it to last a while. We're going to go ahead and make my normal salad right now. Um, because who knows when I eat again. I actually was thinking about putting steak in it, but I think I've changed my mind. And that way I can, when I get home, I can eat the steak. Um... Like I said, I was starving last night if you watched yesterday's video. And the y'all, I laid down like in less than an hour after eating and I was fine. I literally sat in bed, ate the salad, put the dish away, and basically laid down. So, if you've been watching me for a long time now, you know that that is a miracle because I suffer some severe IBS. IBS M now I guess it's called and um severe severe GERD like stage three it's horrible horrible but it was being caused by my mast cell activation syndrome because there was a trigger not just the normal everyday triggers um it was like something really messing with my body um for a very long time now and I ran out of a product that I used every single day and um, I wasn't buying new ones anytime soon so and the flavors I had here because I still have tons of chocolate and I still have tons of cinnamon toast of this product um, which is a keto product it's a collagen um, I knew I couldn't have those because my mast cell activation syndrome, I couldn't get near cinnamon or, um, which I haven't tried to see if I can get near it now. I couldn't use cinnamon and I couldn't use chocolate. So after a few days, I think it was like three days. Whoops. That's going to be a lot of pickle juice. Three days. My GERD, my gushing horrible stomach acid disappeared. And that was around, and pain every time I ate. I had horrible pain. Um, I think that was around like August 15, 16, somewhere in there, or 20, somewhere in there. After running out for a while, like I think it's four or five days after running out, that everything disappeared. That was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine because one reason I couldn't do keto or carnivore is I was living on bread and potatoes to soak up all the stomach acid. All right, sometimes a little pasta, anything that would help me soak it up, and I was still dying. Um, but y'all, I mean, bacon before going to bed now, a lot of it. I mean, mayonnaise again. I mean, pickles. I've not been able to eat pickles in forever. Like year or two without getting sick lettuce i wasn't able to eat salads like this this is like a miracle to me you have no idea if you are new how different my life is right this minute i was terrified of food food just made me sick i was so horrifyingly scared of food i was scared to eat Okay, so if you weren't paying attention, you're new to my channel, that was just um, salt and dill weed. We're just making a dill-like salad dressing. I still have not gone near paprika, garlic, any of that kind of stuff. I haven't gone near olive oil. There's still tons of ingredients that I've not reintroduced to my um, diet yet because I don't want... Any issues right now we're just sticking with this and then we'll slowly start adding um I've had issues with paprika on and off all my life same with garlic um, and that 
Usually when I was having a mast cell activation flare-up and didn't know what it was called back then, um, my dad, my allergist was always like, well, certain times you become allergic to stuff you're not allergic to. They never explained. Um, I want two ounces. They never explained what it was. And back then you really couldn't just Google it. And I went back this last December when I was desperately ill and started researching my medical records and that's when I discovered what I had. The problem is I tried to heal it with carnivore and I was doing good at first and then I wasn't and that is because I did not take the collagen out of my diet. I was using less of it but I was still using it every day and I think I started using more of it. And I was fine until I introduced chicken, which is, seems to be a trigger too. So, we're just doing normal keto. 20 total carbs or less. Um, also, you know, Dr. Eric Westman, phase one, maybe phase two. So, most people can't have certain ingredients on phase one for Dr. Eric Westman because they tend to not understand about how to calculate carbs. Oh, I messed this up. So one reason they just say they don't have protein listed like powder, they don't have um, cottage cheese listed on phase one. Um, at least I don't think it's on phase one. Um, so they don't have any of that listed because they're trying to make it as simple as possible for beginners or for people to understand. Now, during when In Your Carb Confusion book came out, this is turkey, um, because I can't have chicken. When it came out, um, I took the classes. They had online classes that you could pay for, and I took them with Amy Berger, Dr. Eric Westman, and a few others were teaching. I took them every, the whole course, live, um, and I ask questions. Everyone asks questions. And they said in these, if you know keto, you've been doing keto and you know how to measure 20 total carbs, that is all that matters. Okay. <clears throat> that is all that matters. The rest does not matter. You don't have to do it by only two cups of green leafy vegetables. If you know how to calculate carbs, you can do it different. Like, I could have more green leafy vegetables because I don't really eat broccoli or any of that right now. I don't eat a non-starchy thing. Um, I still follow the rules about cheese. I still, I keep pushing the wrong button. I still follow the rules about cheese. I still follow the rules about the mayonnaise. And I, I usually use less mayonnaise than, and less cheese than the rules. Um, there's no rules for zero carb deli meats or bacons okay now there are some hot dogs and there are some deli meats that have some serious carbs in it and you have to count that but if you know what you're doing with carb counting you can have some cottage cheese and i will be having cottage cheese soon okay and i might be um trying some feta cheese soon because you know i gotten some i would try it today if we weren't going anywhere but since we have to go so far i'm not doing it today we're just sticking to the ingredients i know i can have i am dying to make some cottage cheese things that i've been seeing on everything gotta pull my other one out this one's empty um they have a lot of high protein cottage cheese stuff including one that I will definitely be trying soon, except I'm going to probably add some cream cheese to it. It's basically cottage cheese, um, a can of pumpkin. I was going to add in um, cream cheese, which they do not, and just seasoning, and then they put it in the fridge. Well, the original one, one I used to make all the time years ago on um, these videos was just cream cheese, but we're trying to make it more protein. I also want to try adding eggs and baking some like 
I have really been watching those videos and most of them I'm like, oh, it sounds okay, but it doesn't sound like a texture I would like. I want to change it. I want to add to it. And pumpkin is my jam. All right, this is pure pumpkin in a can. So, um, a half a cup. This has 3.5 servings, y'all. So, a half a cup is 10 total carbs, um, 7 nets. I do total. Um, but I would never eat half a cup. But you also have to count the carbs in the cream cheese that you put in there and the cottage cheese that you put in there. That all has to be counted. Um, but usually when I were to make something like that and do that, that would be my vegetable for the day basically meaning it wouldn't be a day that I do any kind of broccolis or anything like that um lettuce would be fine lettuce doesn't have as many carbs as people would be screaming about I would make sure I was still under 20 total carbs and I use allulose for my sweeteners because allulose is extremely healthy the same with monk fruit look it up they actually have some studies going on right now that allulose consumed before your meal or with your meal adds like a G, GOP1. There we go. Um, I've been watching a lot of research and doctors talk about it on TikTok and other places. And I haven't seen it on YouTube though. They like to do short clips. But... When you look it up, it makes a lot of sense because I always said that allulose and monk fruit is like a health benefit for me. Um, I haven't started adding allulose in my food again yet because we're going very slow. But look at that. Look at that beautiful salad. And now it is 11.17 and I'm going to go eat it. Are you happy? What side? Oh, you're so happy. We're so happy. Hi, Willow. You know your brat. Mommy's got a sup of room to lock you away while we're gone because you would torture cats. Ooh, there's more cats. Freya, you look dead. Are you alive underneath there? Wow, Freya. Hi, Shaky. Okay, so I usually stand with his appointment. Um, it's a dentist appointment. But they use so much alcohol. And I'm very allergic to it. And I started my ears. Inside my ears are itching like crazy. It's Sadabelle. And I started yawning. I'm not sleepy. I'm having a reaction. My nose started to run. Started to get a temple headache. So I brought myself out here to sit in the car. Um, the procedure is getting done. They said it's anywhere from an hour to two hours. So who knows? Who knows? Thank God it's only 80 something out here. I'd be dying. We're in the middle of nowhere. The closest place is 20 miles away. Um, so there's nowhere for me to go. We're just going to be sitting here. This is it. This is it. Also, I need to call Medicaid because someone's using my address pretending to live with me, which is fraud in this state, and I do not want that. Um, don't even know who this person is. And they couldn't have ever lived here previously because it's my address. The address was created for me. It didn't exist before me. Um, and when my daughter Googles this person, she's pretty shady. She has a pretty shady issue online in this area. So, um, maybe I'll do that while I'm sitting here because I'm going to be bored. I can't have to actually tell you something else. <sighs> I can't remember. But once I stop yawning, maybe I'll film some more. It's just I don't want to yawn for a year on camera. And so, once my reaction calms down. All right, I'm just gonna talk a few minutes while I'm making another salad. I don't feel like cooking eggs. I don't feel like um, just having like some meat like I normally would with some deviled eggs. I have decided I would prefer to just um, have another salad. It did me great last night. 
Okay, let me tell y'all something. On our way home, I was going to get a beef stick, but I was worried about having a reaction to it. And the... Ooh, that does not look pretty. It's still that way. Ew. Um, my salad's starting to go bad. So, I was afraid, like I said, of having some kind of reaction to the beef stick. And they didn't have any cheese chunks or anything, like Kobe Jack cheese. Um, so we ended up getting me some Mac pork rinds because I can do Sam's Warehouse pork rinds with no problem. Same ingredient list, right? Pork, salt, um, and natural smoke flavor. Same list. I thought it was going to be fine, safe, no problem. Um, but... I'm going to put this back in there. I just want to see something. I want to see what the... So, okay. I want to start doing ounces instead of grams just for my brain. So, basically, three ounces is one and a half cups. Um, yeah. It only lasted, like, five minutes. But, um, I... My nose started to run, and I started to get some heartburn only lasted five minutes thank goodness it wasn't in my stomach it wasn't coming up my chest it was just right there in my throat and then I was fine all right and I probably ate about maybe 10 pieces at this point when that started and then I didn't eat anymore I was done done with it I wasn't going there like <laughs> all right so you allow two tablespoons of mayonnaise a day so this is one reason I only do one tablespoon per salad in case I do two salads in a day. But I had a feeling because before when I did keto and ate tons of mac pork rinds or their crackling, I never felt good and I always seemed to have really bad heartburn. But that's all I had and I was really hungry and I thought it would be safe because it was the same exact ingredients as the Sam's Warehouse one, the Members Mart. And I have been eating a few of those a day here or there when I go over to my mom's house just to try them to see if that's something I could add into a dish, um, like a breading or something. And no, mm -mm. whoops, um, can't do Mac, can't do the Mac brand. And like I said, if you've watched my videos, the whole reason for the pickle juice is it gives it more flavor. Definitely got to order more gel weed. I'm almost out. It gives it more flavor. Doesn't add any calories or anything. It gives me more salt. And it makes it where I don't need so much mayonnaise either. Let's open me a new salt. So, almost everything I buy from Redmond's Real Salt, um, you can get it on Amazon for the same price, except, well, here's the difference. If you use Wendy and Harry's code on um, Love and Aaron Keto, it's code on the Redmond's Real Salt. I think, I think they have the code. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, you get percentage off, which you do not from Amazon, but I also don't want to wait forever for it to get here. Amazon is here the next day for me. So... Lots is why I just go ahead and buy it on Amazon now. Okay, hold on. Let me throw this away before I drop it and a cat decides to eat it. Which, trust me, would totally happen here. Okay, I thought Dino had bought feta cheese, but it's blue cheese, and I do not eat blue cheese. One, I'm pretty sure I would have a allergic reaction to that mold, but, all right. Green to throw in. I think I really prefer it this way, to be honest. I'm really loving the ground up, shredded, whatever you want to call it, which I'm probably about to use it all. Cause, okay. One at least four ounces. You know what? Let's just go ahead. I'm hungry. And that is just yummy turkey. I have some more to put back in here later anyway. So we're doing five ounces. All right. I do about two ounces of bacon. 
<laughs> or maybe I do an ounce usually. I don't remember. That looks good enough for me. Let's do some pickles. Trying to get a little away from all those garlic pieces. Trying my best not to too too much garlic since I do have issues with it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and mix up again. Trying to get all the mayo out of this spoon. All right. Now, go in with the egg again. Look how orange that is. Can you see how beautiful orange that is? That is a good one. Definitely want some salt on that bad boy. Mix that in there. Just stream one egg this time. Just to give it a little flavor. Now, now we're going in with my favorite. And this is where I'm getting to four ounces in cheese today. And yes, I won't be cutting. As soon as I do what I'm calling a strict cut, I will be lowering my cheese intake. Gonna eat a chunk. Mm -mm -mm. I will be like lowering my fat intake on certain days once I start doing a cut using an app and stuff and putting it all together. Voila, another salad and it is 8-11. We haven't been home long. I'm exhausted, we were gone most of the day, so time to eat.